Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart today. Over the last couple of weeks, we have pretty much been ranging between this level of resistance and this level of support right here. So about 60K all the way up to $73,000. However, on the four hour time frame, you can now see we are creating this rising wedge pattern, which is a bearish pattern. So it is more likely to actually break to the downside. And in the case that we do break to the downside right here, the price target would roughly be 60 point k so if you are currently getting excited by this recent price action to the upside this pattern is definitely something you must be aware of in the short term here however in the case that we do break to the downside we will just fall right into this massive level of support from about sixty two thousand dollars all the way down to sixty thousand dollars However, in the short term, we also have this smaller level of support right below the current price action from about 66 down to 65,500 US dollars. So in the case that we break down from the ascending wedge, there is a little bit of support right here, like right below it. However, I do think that if this pattern confirms that it is pretty likely that we go below that level of support. That's about it for the bearish scenarios though. So in the case that we do just continue trading to the upside here, well, the next big level of resistance is right here from about 71,000 all the way up to 74,000 US dollars. So the next couple of days are going to be very important for the Bitcoin price action. And if you do want to stay up to date with the crypto markets for Bitcoin, Ethereum and Solana, then do make sure you subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Moving on to this big ascending triangle pattern for the price of Bitcoin that we have been taking a look at over the last couple of weeks. And as soon as we saw this breakout to the downside at about 67K, I told you guys the confirmed price target was about 58K and we got pretty close to reaching that price target multiple times. However, of course, recently we started trading back to the upside and now we are actually getting very close to invalidating the triangle pattern. So as you can see, we did wick above it a couple of times. However, we didn't get a confirmed candle close above this point of the breakout. And therefore I am still saying that this price target right here of about 58,000 US dollars is currently still active. But as soon as we break above the point of the breakout of this triangle pattern right here, then I will be saying that we can cross off this price target in the short term and move on to look at other patterns. But until then, we must keep in mind that this is still a possibility, even though it looks really insane right now, because very simply, the pattern hasn't been invalidated yet. Now taking a look at the three day Bitcoin liquidation heat map, you can see that there's a lot of liquidity to the upside at about 67.3K. However, there is also a lot of liquidity to the downside at about 64.1K. And as you know, if you watch my videos regularly, typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is most liquidity on this chart. So in the case that we do end up grabbing this liquidity to the downside at 64.1K, well, in that case, we do have a confirmed breakout to the downside of this rising wedge pattern. And it would also confirm this price target of about 60.2K. However, by zooming out to the one month Bitcoin liquidation heat map, you can see that it is very clear that most of the liquidity is in fact to the upside because we do have about $2 billion worth of people that are shorting the Bitcoin price that will lose their money on their trade if Bitcoin reaches the price level of 73.2K. So as of right now, most of the liquidity is still to the upside. And therefore, I do think that eventually we will be sweeping this level of liquidity at about 73.2K. However, in the short term, it is definitely possible on, for example, lower time frames that we do end up grabbing the liquidity to the downside first. So that's something to keep in mind. Moving on to the Bitcoin ETF inflows for today. On Monday, we saw a net inflow of $62 million with most of the ETFs actually being net buyers again, except for the Grayscale Bitcoin ETF, which sold about $35 million worth of Bitcoin on Monday. So it is very nice to see that over the last two weekdays, we saw net inflows again, because of course, before that, we saw almost an entire week of net outflows. So overall, this is good to see. And hopefully eventually we start seeing a little bit more volume coming back into these ETFs, because as you can see on average, they're buying about $177 million. And recently they have been either net sellers or net buyers, but just in smaller amounts. So like I said, hopefully we get some more volume coming into these ETFs soon. 
Now taking a look at Ethereum on the daily time frame. After we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level, we then quickly traded to the downside and lost support at the 0.618 Fibonacci level. However, after finding some support at the 0.5 Fibonacci level, we are now trading back to the upside and are potentially about to test the 0.618 Fibonacci level once again. So let's take a look at the short term support and resistance levels for Ethereum. Zooming in on the four hour time frame, you can see that we broke out to the upside of this ascending triangle pattern and confirmed this price target of about $3,330 for ethereum so as for right now we have just been grinding to the upside on the four hour time frame and are potentially about to break out above this level of resistance which will then make it much more likely that we do end up reaching the price target however the price target actually lines up perfectly with the next big level of resistance of about 3330 which is the 0.618 fibonacci level so that is, that is definitely something to keep in mind that we will not just be slicing through this and pushing straight to the upside unless we see Bitcoin having an absolutely amazing day or getting some very bullish news for Ethereum. So the level of resistance that we are currently in is from about 3150 all the way up to 3250. And then, like I said, above that, we have the FIB level at 3330. However, in the case that we do break to the downside right now, so we get rejected from this level of resistance, well, there might be a little bit of support at 3120. However, I do think that if we get a proper rejection, then it is more likely that we end up going all the way into this big level of support, which is sitting from about 3000 all the way down to 2850 for the price of Ethereum. Moving on to Solana on the daily time frame. After we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level, we then got a little bit of support at the 0.618, but eventually did end up losing it. And as soon as we lost the 0.618 Fibonacci level, we quickly traded to the downside, reaching as low as $115 for the price of Solana, but eventually reclaiming the 0.5 Fibonacci level. And just like Ethereum, we are now potentially about to go back to the 0.618 Fibonacci level, which is sitting at $167 for Solana. So zooming in on the four hour time frame for Solana, you can see that we broke above this descending trend line right here. And zooming in a little bit, you can see that we are just trending up with this blue ascending trend line. And there aren't really any massive levels of resistance sitting right above the current price. So I do think it has a little bit of potential to run to the upside here because the next big level of resistance is already at $167 up to $171 for the price of Solana. So if, if Bitcoin continues to hold or even trade a little bit to the upside, potentially Solana has a pretty clear path into this next level of resistance. But this of course, not financial advice. I'm simply telling you what I see in the charts and you can do with that information what you like. Now let's take a look at the bearish scenario. So let's say we lose the trend line support right here. Well, the next big level of support will be from about $150 all the way down to $140 for the price of Solana. So in the case we do break below the trend line, then that is definitely a level to look out for for a potential bounce. Now, if you are interested in joining a crypto community, I recommend you join mine with the first link in the description of the video you're watching right now, because this is a great place to talk about crypto, learn from others, and just share your knowledge if you want to. And for example, as you can see right here, someone is asking my opinion on a coin that they were taking a look at. And, you know, we're just chatting about the chart and taking a look at it together. So if that is something you're interested in or you want to do that with other people, then Go join the server. It's completely free and you can leave at any time. So go check it out. Thank you for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.